welcome back to another predictions video and in today's video I'm going to be predicting the Perry versus Alvarez fight, Alvarez fight. If you're new around here though and you haven't yet subscribed please do so, like video if you do need like video and let's get straight into it. So of course I don't really do too much in the way of BKFC content, I mean I only really speak about the fights that I'm overly intrigued in and to be honest I ain't fully clued up with the whole rankings and who's champion of what division but I'm just interested in the fights that I find interesting. This being one of them, obviously neither of them are the biggest, the best fighters in the BKFC rankings, but they are an interesting fight and they're big names and they've got history behind them. And it's the same with, say, I do a prediction for someone like Buakau. He fights in BKFC, but he's not really known for being a BKFC fighter, it's just because he's got a big name kind of outside. So anyway, now I've cleared that up, going into this fight, Perry is 4-0 with 1 KO in BKFC and 14-8 with 11 KOs and no submissions in MMA. And Alvarez is 1-0 with no KOs in BKFC and 30-8 with 18 KOs and 6 submissions in MMA. This fight is a 5 round fight in the middleweight division. Perry's last fight was a win via TKO in round 2 versus Rockhold. And Alvarez is asked for as a win via split decision versus Mendes. Alvarez is 39 and Perez is 32. Al Alvarez is the former UFC lightweight champion. So, of course, this being a fight between two ex-UFC fighters now turned to an extent BKFC fighters. But I think, to be fair, with the way that these guys fight, especially someone like Alvarez, to an extent with him being the older guy and him being 39 you kind of have to look at it in the way of I don't think that they're going to end up fighting any really highly ranked guys they're kind of only really looking for the money fights also I think somebody like Alvarez is only going to be fighting until he loses and if I think if he loses then he's probably going to retire um, which isn't a bad thing because you don't want them to look, make their career go on for longer when they're just losing every time but I think it's just gonna be one loss and then they're gonna call it a day especially in something like BKFC because you can get brutally hurt in this and it is one of the more aggressive and worse in extent for health wise sports but um, yeah no so I suppose this being five rounds as well that's why they have it less so you'd imagine that they can they've got the ability to go all five rounds five two minute rounds and comfortably be able to do it like I think Alvarez, even though he is older, he's still got a good bit of stamina to him. And he showed that in his last fight against Mendes going split decision. And he still looked he looked a bit tired, but it wasn't like crazy saying how much of an output he was putting out. And it was a good performance from him against somebody like Mendes, who is very explosive and quite hard to pin down. And it was a, it was a good performance. He worked well. And I'll talk about, more about the attributes in a moment. But... Perry's last performance, it was a strange one, Rocco just, you could tell he just didn't really want to deal with Perry's onslaughts and obviously bare knuckle is much different to that of MMA and so, you know, it's it's fair enough and I doubt we'll see a Rocco fighting again, if we do, he'll probably be in boxing, I doubt he'll fight in BKFC again, um, but still Perry's booming with confidence right now and has most definitely found a, a sport and an avenue where MMA he didn't really have the best of luck at times and wasn't performing as good at times. But in a sport like this, he's seeming to thrive very well and it's nice to see for him. Of course, he's also a younger guy as well. So he's going to be coming into this arguably in the prime of his career. And obviously Alvarez had the, has had the more successes in, the, in, in his career being a UFC champion. But like I mentioned, Perez is thriving right now. Um, and so to speak about the fighters and the way that they fight, Perry, he's always known to give his all in fights. He's an aggressive front foot fighter. He's got good clinches, to be fair. Obviously, the technical aspect of BKFC is different to that of boxing, that of MMA. And you would probably have to argue that the way that they are fighting a lot of the time, they don't look overly technical. It's very much like a stand and trade type fighters. But you'd have to argue that Perry knows what he's doing in BKFC now and definitely has an attribute about him which definitely suits BKFC and like I say when he's clinching well he times his clinches well and not loads of BKFC fighters utilize the clinch as much as 
Perry does and he utilizes it well and keeps himself on the inside by doing so and so that's where I would argue the technical element does come into play. He changes levels quite well, he's physically strong, he's an inside top fighter, he can get inside the range well, he has got a very good chin, he's relentless, he'll aim to bully you, he's a fast starter, he will stalk you down and he will punch over the guard as well so that's something which he did nicely especially against me like Michael Venom Page when he fought him. He was punching over the guard. He did it against Rockhold a bit, but obviously we didn't really see too much there. But against the bigger guys, he was punching over the guard. So he was able to then kind of utilise that and take away their guard to then get into range and get inside. And that's nice to see. And the fact that he is such a quick starter, quite often you see that in BKFC. They're very much just on it from the get-go. Certain types of fighters, you see it arguably more than you would in typical boxing or MMA. And yeah, the fact that he is always going to be in your face is a lot to handle and certain fighters and I mean every fighter he's fought so far in BKFC haven't really been able to handle that. And when I say he changes levels well, it's not necessarily like he's going one to the head, one to the body. He'll kind of let out an onslaught to the body, maybe then let out an onslaught to the head. It's very much just like that and it's relentless like I mentioned, it's difficult to deal with um, offensively wise. Negatives about him, his head goes down quite a lot when he comes in, so you can very easily get timed with uppercuts from doing that. He crosses his feet as well. I mean, you see that a lot of times when they're trying to stand and trade and have a war, they'll cross their feet in together and then just go off balance at times as well if they do get caught. He hasn't really got much of a defense in general. Like He didn't really have much lateral movement, head movement. He hasn't really got much of a high guard either, so he can definitely get hit. He can struggle against speed at times as well. I think against somebody like Alvarez, who is a solid mover, he could struggle a little bit here. He isn't really the best at mid-range. I think he looks a bit uncomfortable at times at mid-range. He looks like he doesn't really know where to put his hands in. He isn't really in, trying to set up any of the shots. He's just kind of thinking the whole time when he's at mid-range, how am I going to get into range again? And so I don't think he's overly comfortable at mid-range. He can be timed coming in very much so when he's just kind of pressurizing you like i mentioned he can get timed he can also tire a bit as well um he's got decent enough stamina and like i mentioned the grounds go quite quickly in bkfc but he can tire when it is a relentless kind of output that he does put in he's got a low guard like i mentioned and his chin does go up quite a lot as well so like i said it's very much easy to be able to time him and hit him but like i mentioned he's got a great chin and he's very difficult to actually hurt and even if you do he's very unlikely that he's going to go down and so, like I mentioned, he's got a very good chin and very tough in that aspect and knows how to kind of bite down on a computer and, like I said, give his all. Alvarez as a fighter, he's lighter on his feet. In my opinion, he's got better boxing fundamentals. He is willing to trade as well, though, when needed. He's got good timing. He's better at mid-range. He has got good combinations. Physically, a strong fighter as well, like that of Perry. He moves, in my opinion, much better. He's got high guard faster hands, sets off the jab quite well, he's got good stamina and he's quite an active fighter, he will put out quite a high output and he's active around the ring as well and like I said I think he does move better, even as the older guy I think he does move better and so that's going to be something if he can kind of weather possible storms of Perry and keep him at a mid range or just make him kind of come in like a bit of a raging bull and then move around the ring that can find success for him and you know will he do that I don't know because Perry you, I don't know if he can do that the whole fight but we'll have to wait and see but like I mentioned he's got good combinations he put them together nicely setting off the jab good boxing fundamentals relatively like I said technical and you can tell it's not really a, that of a BKFC style but you can definitely have successes from doing that and good timing as well I mean he's he maybe doesn't have loads of power but he knocked down Mendes what three times uh, in that last fight and yeah, I think it was mainly just off good timing when catching them when they were coming in and so if he can do that with Perry then maybe you, you never know he might be able to drop him you never know uh, negatives about him he's not really as aggressive or as powerful as what I'd argue Perry is he lacks body work at times he doesn't really utilize the body as much as possibly he could do his in close fighting isn't amazing he can kind of just like stand up uh, stand up quite straight or just cross his legs and go off balance or just look uncomposed in close 
he doesn't really utilize the clinch in close he could probably utilize that better and that would be if he was a bit more comfortable in close he sometimes struggles to find range a bit saying he's a mid range fighter when he does find it yeah he's good and when the opponent kind of ties out against him it's good but sometimes early on he can struggle to find range and i, know, I don't think that's really gonna be a problem against parry to be honest uh against pressure he can sometimes struggle like i say it's kind of similar to in close he has been hurt and his chin's been tested and he has been dropped against possible lesser shots to what mendez did drop him once twice um so you know he he, he can be dropped and so you know, there's definitely elements to hurt him as well. Perry is the favourite for this fight, and I think that Perry will win via TKO in round two. Um, I think Perry's onslaught is just going to be too much early on. Alvarez, he might be able to move around for a round, but I think Perry is just going to outwork him and just constantly stalk him down, let out everything he's got in them first two rounds, and then just be able to stop him off of that. Um, and yet again, cement himself as a good, solid BKFC fighter, kind of be the best ex UFC fighter turn the BKFC fighter and I think that's all he really cares about at the moment and then that kind of opens up other opportunities of who he could fight I mean Mendez he put up a good performance against Alvarez so that could be a good fight um McGregor they faced off you never know uh Danis that could be a half decent fight I don't know uh Pettis I thought could be a good fight he fought uh, Jones Jr. and won in boxing. Uh, I think he is a bit bigger, but only by a couple inches bigger. So that could be a good fight. Another ex UFC fighter. Um, Cowboy Cerrone. He called uh, Perry called him out after his last fight. So I think there's definitely options there and a, a market to tap into with these kind of big fights against fighters who aren't, like I said, necessarily highly ranked in BKFC or ranked at all but are just legends of MMA, and uh, if he can get through, just keep getting through them, that would be quite impressive, to be honest, and like I said, I think he's found something good here in BKFC, but yeah, that is it for today's video, hope you did enjoy, like if you did like, subscribe if you're new, and thanks for watching.